Hi guys. It's been a long time since I've seen you. I miss you a lot. And I want you to know that I have put all your names in a circle and I want you to consider this a group hug. Uh, I think about you a lot and uh, I wanted to take this time to tell you that. We're in a very different time, as you well know. You're not going to school. You aren't seeing your friends as often. Um, so we have a lot of different ways that we are acting right now. We have to stay in. We have to stay away from crowds of people outside our own family. We try to get exercise, perhaps in our own yard now, and get a little sunshine. And hopefully, you are doing your homework in your own house right now, as well as helping with chores during the day when normally you would be in school doing your work there. So why are we doing things so differently? I know you know the answer to this because we've been living it for two months. We are in a pandemic. So what does it mean to be in a pandemic? A pandemic is a time when the whole world is sick. The whole world has a virus. And as you know, this virus is called COVID-19. It was first discovered in 2019, so that's why it's called COVID-19. And it's a nasty virus. It makes a lot of people sick. So now, instead of people saying, hey, take care, have a nice day, we hear a lot of this. Stay safe. Take care of yourself. And so I wanted to talk with you a little bit today about what does it mean to stay safe? What do we need to do to stay safe? And what does safe mean? Does it mean safe physically? Does it mean safe emotionally uh, what are we talking about when we say safe well to stay safe one of the things we need is one of these all our houses look different they some are trailers some are apartments uh, some are rooms in other people's homes um, but basically to stay safe we need a house. We need a place where we can be away from other people and be with just our family members. The other thing we need to stay safe is hand sanitizer or soap. And the reason that we use hand sanitizer and soap so much now is because if we get this virus on our hands when we are outside of the house, then this is an effective way to get it off so that we don't put our hands on our nose and mouth and get sick. The other thing that we need to stay safe is a mask. And when I'm out in public places, I notice that people don't necessarily know how to use a mask. Now, if you put a mask here, it doesn't really keep you from sneezing and coughing and getting that potentially in the pathway of somebody else, does it? No. This doesn't cut it either, does it? No, I don't think so. So when you put on a mask, you want it to cover your nose and your mouth and you want it to go under your chin 
because then when you cough and sneeze, your cough and sneeze doesn't go on anybody else. And if they're wearing a mask, their cough and sneeze doesn't go on you. So it keeps people safe. So why have I gone on for the last few minutes about telling you about COVID-19 and being safe when you're practicing these things already? Because I wanted to bring to life and to light the idea of what we know when we, when we think about it spiritually. This also helps to keep us safe. This is my personal Bible. You can see I've put lots of tabs in it over the years and I have written lots of things inside of it. And when I feel that I need some encouragement, uh, when I'm fearful, a little nervous, perhaps confused and not sure what decision I should make, I sit down with my Bible. So, what I'd like for you to do is I'm going to give you a homework assignment. I know you love that. What I'd like for you to do is I want you to think about how reading the Bible can help you during this pandemic. Give it some thought. Write down one or two ways that you think it can. Look through it and see if you can find some ideas if you can't come up with some on your own. And then have your parents text me or you can text me if you have a cell phone and or email me and then I'll read off your answers next week. And the other thing is that when we meet again next week, I want you to have a piece of paper and a pencil ready because I'm going to give you a cool recipe to try. Bye guys. Stay safe.